Hello everybody, it's me Twinkle. Hola amigos, soy Twinkle. Do you know what time it is? It's Twinkle Time Live Online. Are you ready DJ Dallas? Let's do it. And of course, Feliz Viernes. And if this is the first time ever tuning into Twinkle Time Live Online, or as I like to say, hashtag TTLOL, everything we do here is educational, bilingual, and always tons of musical fun. So, in Espanol, on the count of tres, everybody say, Feliz Viernes. Are we ready? Here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Feliz Viernes. There you go. That is how you say Happy Friday in Espanol. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's the end of the week. I hope that all your goals that you put out on Monday, you actually achieved one or two or maybe all your goals because over the weekend, it's time to relax. We're going to have a good time. Tell me what you guys are going to do over the weekend. I'm still trying to figure out what we're going to do for the weekend. Put every idea you have. Maybe give me some ideas in the comment section. I will definitely be reading them throughout the entire show. Um, I want to say hi to everybody. I see some new people on here. Um, thanks. Oh, somebody says, love the orange lipstick. Why, thank you so much. Um, hi, Kailani. Um, hi, everybody. Oh, I love when I see people that um, have been coming every single day or new people. It makes me so happy. And as you know, I love Fridays for uh, many different reasons, but Friday is like super fun for me because it is a day where I get to show hashtag Friday faves, which if it's the first time ever watching on Fridays, um, Friday faves are music videos that I like to feature from independent recording artists and if you don't know what an independent recording artist I'm an independent recording artist for kids and families so I always think it's really cool to be super supportive and uplift your peers and even though they're doing the same type of music you're doing everybody is always slightly different and doing it in their own way and so on Fridays that's when I like to feature music and artists that are also independent recording artists for kids and families so I'm really excited about today um, because as I was putting the show together late last night I was like oh my gosh again there was no like oh this is what the show is going to be it just always so happens to be that it just comes out like that. It's an all-guy lineup. 
And I was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. I don't think we've all had an all-guy lineup before. So let me give you a little sneak peek, a teaser, of all the songs that we're about to, to see today. Um, so here we go. Um, we are going to have a new friend, uh, Poco Drum from the UK. We also DJ Willy Wow, you might remember him, from the States here at USA. And then from Canada, Derek McKinley. So these are some of our video artists that we are going to be seeing in a little bit but before we get into the videos and Friday fun facts I want to give you a little sneak peek or not even a sneak peek I want to show you like a world premiere I guess on YouTube because we actually put it out yesterday this is how I want to tell you how this little video came about and it's actually dedicated to one of our viewers that watches every single day. And some of you guys that are on here will know who Joseph is. So um, really quickly, Joseph is such an awesome support uh, follower of not just me, but a couple other independent recording artists who he follows and he supports. And so, I don't know if you remember, but I had a guest, Uno, Dos, Tres, Andres, a couple, maybe like a week or so ago. Uh, he contacted me uh, via DM and he said, you know, uh, we all have a mutual friend named Joe. I was like, oh, I love Joe. And he's like, well, he wanted to write a song. So I said, oh, send me your lyrics. And he's like, so Joe sent me some lyrics and then Uno, Dos, Tres, Andres put a little melody with his guitar. And he's like, I thought it'd be really cool for all of us to do a little collab. I was like, I'm in. What do we need to do? So he's like, we have this app. He's like, I'm going to put my part down. And then he sent it to Miss Nina, who was also on the show. And she put her harmony down. And then, then she sent it to Susie Shelton, which I don't know Susie Shelton, but she put her part down. And then they sent it to me. And then I put my part down. And voila, the song came together all dedicated to Joe with Joe's own lyrics. And I think it came out really cool and it was perfect because we put it out yesterday on social media for Friendship Appreciation Day, which all of you that are watching, you're the ones that told me that yesterday was Friendship Appreciation Day. So here is a song that's dedicated to Joe, written by Joe, that we all collabed on. So take a listen. Thank you so much for supporting all artists. And um, thank you so much that for, from this indie artist, I heart you big time. And everybody else that is watching right now live, I thank you for stopping by and supporting me every single day. So even though yesterday was Friendship Appreciation Day and I already appreciated you guys and said thank you, I'm thanking you all again, so thank you. So now are we ready for some cool music videos and some super fun facts? So this is what I decided to do because all of my artists are from everywhere around the world. And because most of us cannot travel because we're being safer at home, I thought, well, you know, we can use our imagination and go to all kinds of places in our imagination. So uh, we're gonna go on a little ride. 
<laughs> and so um, I think our first stop is going to be Canada because my artist, my musical artist that I'm going to debut today, uh, he is from Canada. So first of all, in the emojis, put your hands up. Anybody been to Canada? I have. Um, I've been to a couple different places in Canada. Let's see. I've been to Vancouver, Toronto, Edmonton, which in Edmonton, they have the coolest indoor amusement park with a full-fledged roller coaster. Like, huge roller coaster indoors. It's amazing. So, let's see. Vancouver, uh, Toronto, Edmonton, a place called Saskatoon, uh, a place called Victoria. Did I say Toronto? I think I said Toronto. Um, I've been to a lot of different little places in Canada. It's beautiful, by the way. Um, and so, let me know if you've been there. So, let me give you a couple fun facts about Canada. So, did you know that the capital of Canada is Ottawa? Everybody say that. Ready? Ottawa. And that's with the O. So that's the capital of Canada. And did you know that in Canada they have the longest coastline in the entire world? The longest coastline. And I believe, uh, hopefully I get the numbers right and I remember, it's 125,597 miles long. Woo! Thank goodness I remembered. I was really nervous. I was like, I hope I remember the, the actual number. So they have the longest coastline in the entire world. And Canada is basically known for hockey. Like, everybody loves hockey there. And so many amazing hockey players come from Canada. Also, they're known for maple syrup, which I love maple syrup. And they're also known for their very, very cold winters. Um, I'm from California, so um, I don't really quite understand this type of cold winter. They, uh, their winters are like minus 40, like 40 below zero. So I've been to Buffalo, New York when it was 10 degrees below zero but 40 degrees below zero, that is so cold. The reason why it gets so cold is because they are almost to the North Pole. That's how cold it is. And they're so far away from the equator that that's why it gets so cold. And another reason why their winters are so freezing cold is because they don't get a lot of sun during their winter months. So that's why it's extra cold. So I think I'll just stick with my uh, 65 degree weather here in California for our winters because that is way too cold. So uh, my next, uh, my, well not my next, my very first artist um he I've never met him but I saw this song and he was so full of energy when I saw this video and I was like I have to feature it he just made just made me smile from ear to ear and he had so much energy um let me show you what he looks like so you know who I'm talking about his name is Derek McKinley and he is from Canada and he is a singer songwriter educator musician from Canada and he like has been performing his whole life like he was in high school bands and then he was in bands and he said he even did uh, a little stint of singing telegrams where he got to dress up as like a penguin or a gorilla doing singing telegrams I thought that was pretty cool but he didn't get into like family music until he was living in Japan which um, I've never been to Japan it is on the must list like must go places and it's actually one of my dreams to not just go to Japan but to perform Form in Japan uh, and this necklace that I'm wearing is also from Japan sent to me by Pavel accessories so thank you um, but he was living in Japan and he was teaching at a kind like at a school he was teaching kindergartners and so he decided well you know they speak Japanese he was teaching English as a second language and he decided to incorporate music so he can like so he can like uh, teach these 
children that were in Japan that don't understand English and that way they could communicate a little bit better through music. And so his whole mission in doing family music is literally just to teach kids how to be a better version of themselves. So he writes some really amazing songs and maybe one day we'll have them here on TTLOL. But here is a song called The Park Song by Derek McKinley. Check it out. I'm gonna do a song about going to the park. So good morning everybody, enjoy your park trip today if you're going to the park. And me and Nova are gonna rock the park song, all right. One, two, three, four, my awesome family, we like to go to the park. We have a really good time there, my awesome family, yeah, we ride our bikes to the park. We ride around in the valley, there are lots of slides there, and there are the swings there, and we like to play. video so much and speaking of parks I love going to parks if you love going to parks put it in the uh, comment section um, in fact I think you um, I don't know if you remember but the other day I was saying that I loved going to the park the other day and doing like a full workout of course it was like social distancing but it was cool to see like my friends and we were all working out at the park together which I will be doing Sunday morning and we were like totally social distanced apart it was awesome and also I don't know if you're in California if you ever come to California we have such beautiful national parks and maybe some of you have been um have you ever been to yosemite national park gorgeous or like the sequoia national park amazing or the joshua tree um these are all like amazing national parks so let me know what kind of national parks you have in your state because i know that there's people tuning in from all over the country or even all over the globe and let us know because we love learning all kinds of new places so okay so now we know about Canada. We've all been to Canada in our imagination. But now we're heading on over to the UK. I've never been. That's another place I have to go. So uh, the next artist is from the UK. Uh, so let's do a couple fun facts about the UK. Did you know that the capital is London? Yes, that's the capital. I've heard so many beautiful things and amazing things about London. I also know that it rains all the time. It's like raining every single day for the most part. Um, but did you know that some of the sports that they're like really known for uh, is rugby, soccer, uh, let's see, rugby, soccer, cricket, I don't know much about that game, and golf. Yes. And did you also know, well, they say that all those sports – were invented in the UK. Interesting fun fact that I didn't even know. And this was a really cool one. Did you know that the very first postage, you know like the 
stamp that you put on an envelope and then you take to mail. The very first postage was from the UK from 1840. Wowza! That's like a long time ago, but I didn't even know that it originated in the UK. That's like a really cool fun fact. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about the artist that we're about to see. So let me bring up his picture so you know what he looks like. Um, I don't know him. I just met him, but he's so super cool. His name is Poco Drum, and I hope I'm saying the name right, Poco Drum. And so he is from the UK. He is a singer, songwriter, musician. He is a dad and a husband who um, I think already has three albums uh, that are out in the UK. You can probably find them on Spotify, but he has a brand new album, a brand new album, and he decided to go in a different direction for this new album. It's more like electric grunge, and in fact, I think think his new album is I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget it's electro grunge drums that is the name of his brand new album and we're going to be looking at a new video from his new album so I'm so excited and when you watch this video try to find out or imagine or guess what I felt in love watching this video like I fell in love with this video specifically for one reason try to put it in the comments section i'll be reading the comments while this video is playing here is brand new song by poco drum and it's called cats like to swim here you go drum he looks like he should be a part of the twinkle time live band because he kind of resembles a little bit like pepper poodle my friend pepper poodle i love that song and if you didn't guess uh what somebody says never seen a cat enjoy that's what i was gonna say so i fell in love because as you know i love cats i have two cats and i was like they don't like water at all and i said now i know why my cat, Star and Soul, they don't have their own music video because they don't know how to swim like that. Um, if I made a video or made a song or wrote a song about um, 
cats being princesses and like lounging on their sofas and their pillows, they would be the star of that. <laughs> but they definitely do not know how to swim. That was so impressive. And I just love the beat of that entire song. That was such a fun song. So, uh, super fun. Are right, we moving on? Okay, let me read a couple comments. Um, let me see. I have to get back. Um, parks are open. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of parks open. Um, somebody says, that was a total banger. Yes, I'm going to the park in Hollister. I love Hollister, California, by the way. Um, and then somebody says, my mom went to England. <gasps> I love, I want to go so bad. So maybe one day. Somebody says, what about your necklace? Don't forget. Oh, if you happen, if you just tuned in, this necklace is from Japan. Uh, an accessory company called Pavel Accessories sent this to me. And, I mean, I absolutely love it. I mean, it's got happy faces. It's bright yellow. It's got pandas. I mean, how cute. I absolutely am in love. Um, and then somebody says, oh, wait, where did it go? Hi, unicorn girl. The guitar on the track rules reminds me of a Sonic game. <gasps> That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. And they should be on tour with you, Twinkle. You know what? They should. Or maybe I should go to the UK and do a show there. That would be a dream come true. Um, very catchy song, right? Um, okay, so so we've been to Canada, obviously, in our minds. Uh, we've been to the UK, in our minds. So uh, now, moving on. Uh, let me see. We're going to go on a little ride. Come the 50 states nationwide. That's my song, Made in the USA. So now we're uh, in the USA, but um, we're not going to talk about all the states. We're just going to basically talk about one particular state. Uh, so this next artist, some of you may remember him because he was a guest way early on when I first started uh, doing my live streams. His name is DJ Willy Wow, and he is from the state of Georgia. And so Georgia is known for lots of cool things. They're known as the Peach State. Uh, but in fact, they, in the state of Georgia, they are producing like the nation's peanuts, and pecans like that's where all of our peanuts and pecans mostly come from so it's kind of like the three peas like peach peanuts and pecans i love pecans because i love making pecan pie so ooh, that sounds so delicious so that is one fact from the state of georgia another cool fact is i don't know if you know this but the Coca-Cola company, you know, like the, the beverage Coca-Cola, their entire headquarters is in Atlanta, Georgia. And you can actually, it's almost like a little museum. I'm sure not like the whole corporate company. You can like go in through a tour. I don't know. I haven't done the tour. But you can actually take a tour and you can actually sample over a hundred Coca-Cola beverages. How awesome is that? I mean, like, I think I've been to Georgia, but I've actually never been to the Coca-Cola uh, building. And I think I need to go because I know um, there's a Peruvian drink that is called Inca Cola. And it's it's like a Coca-Cola. It's from Coca-Cola. And it has, like, a bubblegum flavor. It is so good. Um, so if you ever see it in a grocery store, it's called Inca Cola. It's only, well... They have them here in the states, but it's for it's from Peru. It's so good; it tastes like bubble gum. So we're gonna have to make that's gonna be another thing to do on my to do list one day when we can travel again. And another cool fun fact is in Georgia, they have the world's largest aquarium. No joke. Their aquarium in Georgia has a hundred thousand aquatic animals that's a lot of aquatic animals and 10 million gallons of water that obviously house all the aquatic am animals uh so you guys if you ever go to georgia make sure you go to those places and take pictures and then hashtag so let me show you in case you didn't see the live stream with dj willy wow 
let's see what he looks like just to remind everybody let me just scroll to this picture so that's my friend dj willie wow he is from atlanta georgia so i mean not only is he a dj spinning the beats but he also is a singer songwriter creator music maker who creates amazing hip hop songs for kids that are just so memorable and total bangers and if you're like wait twinkle what is a banger let me tell you you know like when you're like rocking out to music and your head is just like yes that that means the song is such a banger so um he has this amazing song that i can't wait to play uh you probably are going to be dancing the entire time and that's okay his song that we're going to watch is called curbside dj slide are you ready here we go now i have to scroll here we go for curbside dj slide by dj willie wow curbside you can't hide curb slide let the beat ride you can't hide curb slide let the beat ride dj curbside curbside dj slide you can hear the beats knocking so come on outside curbside curbside dj slide pull up to the house it's a party outside curbside curbside dj slide you can hear the beats knocking so come on outside curbside curbside dj slide pull up to the house it's a party outside Christopher, a total banger. I love it. You have to like get into it like curb sad, curb sad DJ slide. And then you have to do like a stank face, you know, like when you're singing too. Yes, I love that song. I can't believe that that was like a full rock star guy lineup. I love it so much. That's like never happened before. So where it's like 
all videos from all rock stars. So that was so fun. And we went to so many amazing places in our imagination. We went to Canada, we went to the UK, and then we ended back in the States in Georgia. So that was so much fun. I hope you guys had fun watching those brand new videos. Maybe some of you have never seen them. Some of them are literally brand new music videos. So, um, and just to, I'm so excited. Um, you all have to tune in this coming Monday because obviously we don't have TTLOL on Saturday and Sunday. I'll be very, very sad that I won't be seeing you, but you have to tune in on Monday because Poco Drum, the one that was the second video from the UK, is going to be my Monday musical guest. I'm so excited. We haven't had anybody from the UK be a Monday musical guest, so everybody has to tune in. If you have questions you want to ask them, make sure you put them in the comment section on Monday, but very excited about that. So um, are we ready? Four. Um, I know maybe some of you are just tuning in and didn't know that I have a Patreon page. Let me give a little quick shout out to Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash twinkle time in espanol www.patreon.com forward slash twinkle time. You can read all about it, all kinds of fun things happening on that page. But also, as I say every single day, the most important thing to help and support me is literally by coming to my YouTube channel, which is Twinkle Time, Monday through Friday, de lunes a viernes, at what time? 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 2 de la tarde, Tiempo Pacifico, where all walks of life come together for the love of music. And I 100% love and appreciate every single one of you that are on right now let me take a couple questions or let me read some comments uh somebody says can i be on your show sometime of course you can well, let me see who was that joseph yes of course we're gonna have to make that happen and then somebody says my kitty whiskers is with me. oh that's jason oh and then um i love what you're showing twinkle thank you tim i i'm so glad you guys enjoy it if you ever have ideas like I'm this is a collaborative show everybody this is a community and I want to like if you want to see something or hear something or you want me to do something just let me know send me a comment uh, you can DM me on Instagram twinkle time and friends or on Facebook twinkle time or have mom and dad send me something that you want to tell me um, the monkey costume is super funny I'm sure the neighbors were like uh <laughs> I love it so much. Um, and then this is another banger. Yes, and it rhymes good and it sounds good. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm sure he'll really love that. And then um, it says, should, should have had you and Dallas dancing to that right. Well, you didn't see me, but I was dancing in my chair like curbside, curbside, DJ slide, uh, curb. I love love that song it won't it's not gonna leave my head all day today um and then somebody says gonna curb slide from the sun to the moonlight snap those finger with record spinning mr mix master mike miss twinkle on the mic uh, uh oh como como vamos a bailar mis amigo let's get it all right Ooh, okay i should have i should have read that so i could have done the rap a little bit better but yes jason that is awesome uh with and then somebody says with stink face yeah except we're gonna say stink face s-t-a-n-k instead of stink to make it cooler stink face Yes. Um, and then, okay, that part didn't rhyme. I was, oh, no, Jason, it was amazing for you to, like, think of it, like, on the spot. Big props to you. Um, I actually kind of messed up the little rhyme there because I was, like, trying to read and trying to, like, do it at the same time. So that was my bad. It's all good. We're a family here. Uh, and then, so, more sing and dance with Bruno Mars. Jorge. If I can get Bruno Mars on this show, on Twinkle Time Live Online, my life would be complete. Maybe. You know what we should do? Because our friend Katie, who is our like our stage manager here on the comment section, maybe if you all join 
the uh, she created a Twinkle Time Street Team. If you all join her page on Facebook, which is Twinkle Time Street Team, maybe we can all send out Twitter, like on Twitter, to Bruno Mars. Hey, Bruno, you have to come on Twinkle Time Live Online. He'll probably be like, what? What is Twinkle Time Live Online? And then we got to explain to him what Twinkle Time Live Online is. That would be... A dream come true, you guys. I probably would not be able to speak. I would be either crying or screaming the entire time. <laughs> I would fangirl out like you wouldn't believe. Okay, let's look at a couple more. Um, okay, I'm going to work on some Run DMC on my DJ system. I'm going to share it with you later. I cannot wait. This was so much fun, guys. Okay, so you know what's coming up next, right? I mean, we cannot have TTLOL without some funny. I know yesterday I didn't do some funny because it was Friends Appreciation Day, so I decided to sing a song at the last minute. So everybody, on the count of three, let's do a really super duper loud because it's Friday super duper loud drum roll on the count of three ready one two three dun dun dun, dun four joke of the day and if you have a joke make sure you send it my way twinkle time and friends on insta or twinkle time on facebook and I will choose a joke sometime uh, during one of my live streams. You guys, my nose itches. Sorry, it's itchy. I hope I don't sneeze. I'm going to hold it in. Maybe if I look at light or something, it'll go away. I don't know. Woo, I hope I don't sneeze. Um, okay, let me find this joke um, and give me, okay, I've got a couple jokes. So don't forget. So if you're brand new to Twinkle Time Live Online, um, I'm practicing my joke telling skills. So, um, on the scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, 1 being, uh, needs a lot of work, uh, rate my joke telling skills. My feelings will not be hurt. I take constructive criticism. So here we go. <clears throat> Are we ready? For joke number one. Got to get centered. How can you tell elephants love to travel? How can you tell elephants love to travel? They always pack their own trunk. Get it? You know, when they travel, when you travel, you pack like a suitcase or a trunk, but they're trunk. Yes? <sighs> Moving on? Okay, we'll move on. Okay, so uh, joke number two. Uh, this is a funny one, I hope. Um, why did the witch stay in a hotel? Why did the witch stay in a hotel? Well, she heard they had great broom service. <laughs> Get it? Room service, but the witch always on a broom, the broom service. Yes? Let's see. Um, somebody, oh, uh, t oh, I don't need, that's like 12 gajillion points for that joke. Thank you, Katie, so much for that. Somebody says laugh out loud 10. I got a 10. Ooh, 11. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you can go to 11, but hey. Uh, and then, oh, Kari, um, Kari, don't be sad, but I forgot to prep your joke. I'm going to read your joke, and I promise, pinky promise, on Thursday. So Thursday it is. Oh, my goodness, I totally forgot to prep. Sorry. I'm going to read one more joke. I feel so bad now. Okay, so joke number three. Are we ready? <clears throat> Hopefully I end on a good note. Where do sheep go on vacation? Where do sheep go on vacation? The Mahamas. <laughs> Get it? The Bahamas. Mahamas. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Unicorn Girl. Oh my goodness. That's that's how we're gonna end Friday at T T L O L with that joke. Um this was so much fun, everybody. I hope everybody had a phenomenal week. Don't forget to tune in this Monday at 2 p.m. because we're going to have a really awesome guest that I've never met. I've never even had a conversation with, only online. So this is going to be so much fun for me, all the way from the UK Poco Drum. So don't forget to tune in on Monday. Have 
an amazing weekend. Uh, take time to do something new and exciting and let me know all about it on Monday. I'm going to figure out something cool to do over the weekend. So are we ready to sing out the show? Of course we are. Here we go. Ready? A one, two, three. T-W-I-N-K-L-E. That's what everybody calls me. Mwah. From my house to yours, have a fabulous Friday. I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, it's still.